Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to grab a drink and shut off your fucking phone. Tonight, we welcome two of Canada's greatest magicians and stars of the TV show Big Trick Energy for a live magic comedy podcast unlike anything you've ever seen before. These incredibly sexy magic icons. Do, do, do I really have to say that? Yeah, just, just read the thing, man. Just read it. It's fine. <clears throat> These incredibly sexy magic icons are the greatest performers I have ever seen, and they are so incredibly smart. They are so talented that I will record this introduction for free. Uh, I'm not actually doing this for free, am I? I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. It's fine. And now, straight from the bottom of the barrel, your hosts, Chris Ramsey and Wes Barker. Let's get to the bottom of it. Down in the barrel, there's a naked man, a stupid drunk with a bottle in his hands. Along came a brother from another town. Took one look and he jumped right down to the bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. Hell yeah. How's it going, Vancouver? All right. <laughs> oh, look at this crowd. Can we get the house lights down a bit? Just a, yeah. yeah we Just don't a scotch? See. Yeah. Did you turn them up? I think you turned them up. I think you turned them up. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Excited to be in Vancouver. As you can tell, I've been assimilating. Yeah. So that you'd accept me, I bought this shirt. Yesterday in Calgary, he wore a Wranglers thing and a cowboy hat. He was a real piece of shit yesterday. <laughs> I told him that today this was a much better look for Vancouver. Everyone misses the Grizzlies. Yeah, Mike Bibby. It's been 22 years. Get over it. Um, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, if you don't know what we're doing here, uh, you're not alone. This is a Bottom of the Barrel podcast Chris and I have together. And uh, we're not just doing a podcast. There's plenty of magic. There's special guests. There's comedy. Nice, buddy. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a live comedy podcast. All right. So this is being recorded. This will be on the internet. That's the close-up camera, and I'm gonna play that on a loop uh, for so long. This is gonna be this, so great. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. All right, uh, first of all, we have to do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, yeah. My mom, mom, are you here? Yeah. There she is, all right. <laughs> That's probably someone else's mom. <laughs> my mom's in the back with a huge pink shirt on. And uh, what does it say on your shirt there, mom? It says, I heart Wes and Chris. And Chris. <laughs> I heart Wes and Chris. Chris is much smaller. <laughs> per perfect, okay, good. <laughs> all right, so big round of applause for my mom for coming out. Yeah, so this... Well, there, she's going to have to hear some stories tonight, so I just want to make sure you know... Oh, 100%. a lot for her. 100%. We got, some, we got some things reserved uh, for her. I uh, respect that no one took the front row. That's interesting. Normally, a lot of places, you pay more yeah, for the front. this guy did. And then, right yeah, on. Just that guy. You're getting all the goo. Three people know. took the front row. It's a very yeah. interesting choice. <laughs> you, know, you know, my college shows, I set up a fake front row, because everyone always sits in, sec sits in second row, yeah. and then I move the entire front row before I start the show. Oh, smart. If no one sits there, I'm just going to talk to you. Like, it's the next person. <laughs> right? It's just fine. How many of you, uh, by round of applause, how many of you are subscribed to Bottom of the Barrel podcast? <laughs> so that's like a third. So as, as you heard in the, in, the, in the small intro, like, obviously keep your phones off, but if you're going to turn them on, I mean, you can go ahead and subscribe to Bottom of the Barrel podcast, or as we call it, Bob, as you can see by your fancy sign. We spent so much money on this sign. Know that all of your ticket sales went to this sign. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to come uh, kick you out if you're on your phone, but if they see it's for subscribing, yeah. they're like, oh, Or no, Patreon, no. Good, you can do that, too. That. We really appreciate it. So. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a wild show that we got going. We did this in Calgary yesterday. Uh, the crowd went wild. You guys sound way rowdier, by the way, than Calgary. We were back there. We're like, oh, shit, this is going to be fun. Yeah, like, okay, who has to work tomorrow? Yeah. 
That's, that's what, I, that's like. what that's, I like to hear. They're like, fuck that. I'll go hungover. I don't care. Yeah. Make sure, because we are going to constantly uh, drink beers and hang out up here. You need to do the same. At any point, we're not going to be offended if you get up and go get another drink. Absolutely. That's what this place is for. As long as you've got to support one. the Rio. You're not an alcoholic. You're supporting the Rio. Yeah. Okay? Uh, but yeah, so Chris, how do we start these shows normally? So normally what we do is we don't have an opening act and we like to grab somebody from the crowd to be our opening act. That's how we, it's, it's chaotic, it's random, it's something we like doing. Last, could, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday we had a guy who snapped his fingers without using his thumbs, it was fucking weird. Uh, but we like it, we welcome it. Uh, you wanna do 10 push-ups, you wanna do a magic trick, whatever it is. Um, it's, it's, we're not starting the show basically until someone gets up here. Okay, this gentleman here. Come on up. That that uh, name or that voice sounds all too familiar to me. Way too familiar. This is the great Eric Leclaire, everybody. Let's go. Yeah, right there. This is uh, this is Eric yes. Leclaire. Uh, he's uh, he's 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 uh, the other the other part of Big Trick Energy. This is the entire yeah. Big Trick Energy this TV show. Setup. It was a setup. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna follow tr Chris's first trick. Yeah. Uh, it's a very tough act to follow. I don't know, man. Yeah, but, uh, good. I don't know what you did to make your hairdresser so angry. <laughs> I'm so drunk. I didn't plan to come up here. Um, so I, we actually planned on surprising you, uh, but we actually found each other in the army store right next door. Yeah. Yeah. I spent, yeah. I spent let's buy a bar plane ticket. This will be amazing. <laughs> I'll come on stage. I'll pretend I'll be the camera guy with Cole right here. And you just, you just saw me just buying yeah whatever. everyone thought thinks you bought that outfit there that's what I, read. <laughs> that's I could hardly I see him in the store honestly <laughs> so all this all this for uh yeah okay i guess i'm gonna open your show as well yeah how you guys doing you guys good <laughs> all right um my name's eric leclerc and for the next 45 minutes i'm gonna try and blow your minds um, I'm actually gonna do a trick I've never done before, and this is for real. Um, at, you know, it's weird because every time you, you, you learn a magic trick, there comes a point where you have to perform in front of an audience. And this is really the first... <laughs> it's the first time that... <laughs> Everything's fine, everything's fine. Uh, so it's really the first time I'm actually gonna perform this trick. Uh, so I'm a little nervous, uh, but after seeing that beer can trick, uh, this kind of rock, you guys are gonna, gonna be mind blown. Um, so um, I have, um, uh, in my childhood, my dad used to always flip a coin for stuff, for like life stuff, for me and my brother, you know, like stuff like uh, who gets the right shotgun, uh, or like uh, who gets the bigger slice of pizza, or uh, you know, normal stuff, like who gets to play doctor at Christmas with Uncle Sean, whatever, normal stuff, right? Um, so I'd like to, I'd like to, just me? Okay, I mean, okay. We're, yeah, we're good, good, okay. So I made a prediction here before the show, and uh, I fucking hope this works. I really hope this works. Okay, I'm gonna do something I've never done. I've been performing on stage for about 30 years, and I've never done this. There's two things I hate that performers do. The first thing is when somebody comes on stage, like, how's everybody doing? Come on, you can do better than that. How's, uh, fuck you. If you say that, if you go to a, sh don't clap louder the second time. We need to stop this. The second thing, it's true, right? Like, fuck off. The second thing I'm, I, I, I never do, I've never done this in my whole career, is get the audience to stand up and play a game. Well, to, to <laughs> like, fuck my life. <laughs> Has it been 10 minutes yet? Um, so I'm, I, we're gonna play a game together. I'm gonna get everybody to stand up in a moment and we're gonna play uh, the heads or tails game, but I'm gonna have this poker chip here. Um, so uh, red is gonna be for head and, sir, and black is gonna be for back. So here's how you're gonna vote. In a moment, you're gonna stand up, hands are gonna come in neutral position. Everybody in the theater is gonna play, okay? Uh, and uh, you have no choice, just like my Uncle Sean at Christmas. Now, you, uh, head, if you, if you want the red side, you're gonna vote by placing your hand on your head. If you want black, you're gonna vote by placing your hand behind your back. Back, black, red, head. And we're gonna vote, we're gonna keep doing it till we get to one person. So it's really random. It needs to be really random for this to work, okay? So everybody stand up for me, let's go. Let's do, I know, I know trust me. I, you're like, oh, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. All right, hands are in neutral position. All right, now if you want, I'm gonna flip this coin. If you want, head, everybody vote now. Head for red, back for black. So go ahead, put your hand on your head. Here we go, all right, here we go. So you guys are voting right now. We have uh, black. So if your hand's on your head, please sit down right now. Now make sure you look around, keep people honest here, okay? Now hands, uh -huh. what, did you get it? Yeah, if your hand's behind your back, you stay out. Yeah, okay, good. All right, now hands in neutral position. All right, we're gonna vote again. 
Head for red, back for black. Go ahead, put your hands on your head if you want red, hands on your back if you want black. All right, here we go. Yes, done. Uh, red, so if your, hands on you, if your hands on your head, stay up. Okay, perfect, hands, this is great. This will take 37 minutes. This will take the whole podcast. Didn't think things through. All right, here we go again. Hands neutral position, head on your, uh, hand on your head for red, hand behind your back for black. Vote now, everybody. Here we go, vote now. We have red. So if your hand's on your head, stay standing. If your hand's behind your back, <laughs> sir, there's no prize. Let's get fucked my life, I never win shit. All right, <laughs> I'm so drunk. All right, here we go. I gotta hurry this up, my kids are in the car. All right, hands are neutral. I'm kidding, I don't have kids. Let's go! All right, ready? Hands neutral positions. All right, here we go. Vote right now. Hand, head for red, back for black. You guys got it? Here we go. Head for red, back for black. Yes? That's black. So if your hand's behind your back, if your hand's on your head, please sit down. How many people do we have left? Can't see shit. It's like, like five, five, six, five, seven. Six. Okay, everybody yeah. vote right now. Neutral position, hand on your head for red, hand behind your back for black. Here we go. Hands on your head for red. Back and back, uh, we have black. So if your hand's on your back, hands on your head, please sit down. This is great, how many? We have three left? Four, four. Yeah, four, four left, okay, four, go ahead, vote now, guys. Hands on your head for red. I don't wanna see, here we go, you guys got it? I have uh, red, so if your hand's on your head, stand standing. If, oh, everybody stay standing. No, one dropped, you're down to three. Okay, neutral position. Jesus Christ, I didn't think it would take this long. All right, <laughs> vote again, everybody. So let's try and be different here in the crowd. Look at, like, try and be different. All right, you're your own individual. Go ahead, vote right now. Hands on your head. Everybody's hands are on their heads right now. Somebody make a decision. Somebody make a decision. All right, you guys good? Okay, whatever you have, good? All right, I uh, have black. So if your hand's on your head, sit down. Yes, okay, we have two left? Okay, two left, perfect. So you guys look at each other. Hey, what's up? I promise this gets entertaining in a second. Is this where they fight? <laughs> fight to the death! Okay. All right, so one of you pick head, one of you pick uh, uh, red or black. You're letting him pick, you're letting him pick red. You got black, whatever, here we go. We have black. So if your hand's behind your back, who won? You won, sir, get up here. Let's give him a big round of applause, guys. Let's go. Hey. Yes, sir. Oh, wow, you would have killed, you would have smoked him. What's up, man? What's your name? Duncan. Duncan, my name's Eric, and this is Mike. Come on, Mike. Hi, Mike. One dad joke. One dad. I'm allowed one dad joke, even though I don't have kids. Mike, you're going you're gonna to flip. What's that? That's Mike. Oh, that's Mike. I'm Duncan. Okay, stop changing it. Duncan, <laughs> you're going to flip the coin, and whatever uh, we're going it's, it's to, it's for the prediction. Okay, so go ahead, flip the coin, slap it on your hand. Great. All right, what do you have there? Red. You have red. Now, was that fair? Yes. <laughs> do you want to go sit down? Not yet. Not yet, okay. You, what's that? The beer. You get, you get a beer if this works, I'm telling you right now. Uh, so you flipped red. Okay, look, I, really, I have a prediction in this envelope, and I really do have, I want you to make sure there's only one thing in there, yes? yes. Can you take it out? Please step up to the mic, Duncan, if that's your real name. Okay. And please read what it says on there, go ahead. The person reading this will be a woman or a man. Right? Come on! Hey, that's pretty good. He or she will be wearing a baseball hat, sporting a killer goatee, and wearing a Ramones shirt. No, say it again. And wearing a Ramones shirt. Come on! Oh, ho, 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 ho. He will flip the red side. Oh, say it again. He will flip the red side. Come on, let's go! Wow. Give that man a beer. Thanks, Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, um, I have one more quick one before I go check on the kids in the car. I need, um, I need two people at random and I want you to pick them to make sure they're really random. I need two people that no, don't know each other. Go ahead, Duncan, use that finger, point anybody. I'm gonna show you something crazy. This is wild. Okay, who do you got? The guy in the plaid and somebody, yeah. This is sick, this is my favorite. Okay, and the girl in the white. Hi, how are you, miss? Come on up here, give him a big round of applause. Come on up here, guys. This is my favorite. <laughs> Please don't trip unless you want to own the Rio Theater. Yeah, I love that joke. Speaking of jokes, have you guys seen Wes's beard? Yeah. Neither have I. Okay, what is your name? I'm Sean. Sean. Eric. Nice to meet you, and? Alicia. Alicia, nice to meet you. Do you guys know each other? Okay, I'm gonna connect you guys. Wait, do you have a, do you have a girlfriend? No. Great. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Is he here? Yes. Shit, all right, now it's okay, it's okay. 
it's okay. No, um, please step uh, right here. But you guys have to trust me, okay? To please step right here, face the audience, pretend you're not petrified. All right. Um, in a moment, I'm gonna ask you guys to close your eyes and uh, put your hands on your side, your chin to your chest, your eyes will be closed. But I want you to, 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 trust me, I'm not gonna embarrass you in any way, I promise. I want you to feel as much as you possibly can what's going on around you. The smells, the touches, the, the hot, cold, the sounds. Be really mindful of what's going on around you, okay? I promise you'll live something you'll never live again. You'll, you'll freak right out. <laughs> Are you excited? Sure. Are you excited? Yes. Really? Yeah! Okay, great. All right, let's get in ready position. Yeah, let's go! All right, guys. Ready position, please, hands to your side, chins on your chest, eyes are closed, and just trust me, chin to your chest, sir. Yes, perfect, here we go. If you felt a touch, please raise your hand. Put your hand down. Show me how many taps you felt. Show me how many taps you felt. Put your hands down. With your right hand, show me where you felt the tap. Do you feel violated, sir? Okay, Alicia, please open your eyes. Um, forget your name. Sean. Good memory. Sean, here's what was going on. You're not going to believe this, but I was actually touching Alicia and you were feeling the touches. Right? Did I, did I touch him? Okay, now I know this is weird, but I'm, I'm going to get you to live this uh, from your seat. Let's give Sean a big round of applause. You get to live this from your seat, sir. Uh, Alicia, you're... Hey, Sean. All right, here we go. This is my favorite part. Um, Sean, I'm, I'm gonna make, you can have a seat. I'm gonna make you live this, uh, what just happened, but you get to watch it from the seat. Lisa, we're gonna switch things up a bit. I'm gonna split your body in half, okay? <laughs> so you're, we're gonna split the left side and the right side. Every time you feel a touch on your right side, you're gonna let everybody know just by putting your hand up and then putting it down. If it's on your left side, put your left hand up and put it down. Okay, we'll test it right now. Okay, please close your eyes, chin to your chest. Here we go. Exactly. Great. All right, here we go. Hey! I didn't touch you once. That's extra. That would, that would be extra. Thank you very much, Alicia. You guys like that? You yes, let's go. Eric, I'm glad that worked. Down. I'm so that glad was... that worked. Hey, let's give it up for Eric LeClaire one more time, guys. <laughs> Glad that worked. Nice. Right I can up. hear you. Can you do it louder? <laughs> Eric, that was fucking phenomenal, man. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I missed the guy last night that was clapping with one hand. Or whatever. <laughs> it took 30 He's seconds, then we just moved on. I'm sorry. No, my you, bad. My bad. No, you did great. Oh, honestly, once you got going, it was good. The uh, five minutes of flipping a coin, I, know. I was like, it's what first, is yeah, happening? Yeah. Yeah. It's striking that. Uh, no, no, no. It was great. It was great. It's phenomenal, dude. So yeah, Eric came, sorry, if I need to make that clear earlier, Eric yeah. came out here to surprise us. He's done this before, by the way, on trips that we didn't know he was gonna show up. He all of a sudden shows up, he gets a great kick out of it. I don't know, I don't know why he does it, but uh, we, guess, try, we try literally to fly across the country to get away from him and he yeah. shows up anyways. But yeah, today we're at, the, we're at the store. Random. And I look around and I'm like, there's no way two people have that haircut. Literally the thought that went in my mind. There's no fucking way. And then, yeah, yeah sure enough, it was surprised. you. I, would, I, I just came to, to see you guys freak out. If I just walked on stage, it would have been the purest reaction of the night. You it got it been. in the store. We yeah. freaked out. Yeah, you got it in the store. <laughs> Us three. You have not explained this haircut. Chris keeps bringing it up and you don't talk about it. Everyone's let's get to, let's get to the know? bottom of this. Yeah. Yeah, let's get to the bottom, let's get to the bottom of it, Chris. Let's... <laughs> Cheers, Eric. Cheers, man. Mm. So. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Hey. So we, there is a fourth member to our TV show, uh, but we... Mark we Essman. Just, yeah, we just did, we did him away. Uh, he's, he never moved out of his mom's basement, so we left him there, and it's just us. <laughs> it's just us. This is season two right here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alex. you don't. No, you no, don't. Mika. Was that Alex? That's Mika. Mika. It's Mika. Oh, it is. It's Mika, yeah. It is Mika's here. What's hey, up, Mika. Girl? 
She was, uh, she was on, she was basically You could name her job. I'll give you $10 and you could name her job right now. I could name, it was PA, right? <laughs> no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. Mika, no, I'm no, kidding. No. This is amazing. Uh, but I can't name Fluffer. it. Fluffer. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Mika, Mika was amazing. She was literally the person with like the absolute best like energy yeah. you've ever met in yeah. the world. She made everybody smile. She made everybody happy on set, even though we were fucking miserable for the most of the time. Yeah. Uh, can we get a round of applause for Mika? Mika. Good job, Mika. We love you, you Mika. You saved us so many times. Yeah, 100%. So what was your what was your big plan? To come here, you're gonna take a camera and you're gonna crawl on stage and just be like, hey, and then everyone Showing some good magic. No one would know who you are, so they'd be like, No, but your reaction, they... you would have okay. sold it. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would have been one of Wes's Facebook videos, reactions. <laughs> oh, oh those God. are great. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have you ever had sex sober? Sex? Yeah. Sober? That's a good question. Yeah. I want to hear it. Myself? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You don't Why? Seem, I just, you don't seem like you'd have any luck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where Wes it's is going with this, but I like it. Well, you know, he, he was saying how drunk he was on stage, and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty likable. And then when you're sober. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, just... it's funny that you're you're talking about being That's drunk true. on yeah. stage. That is true. Yeah. That's fine. Hey, hold on. Cindy's here. Wes's mom. We oh, can't, yeah. we can't no, no. talk about Wes's problems in public here. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Your son's perfect. <laughs> for, once, for some people who don't know, Christmas brings up my drinking all the time on the podcast. Wes is an alcoholic. No, I don't bring up your You bring it up all the time. You bring my mom up called me. The you drink all problem? the time. You, you bring up the drinking. I literally don't drink two nights a week every week. <laughs> this is every literally in a row. what Wes tells every me. He's like, hey, man, you're going to be proud of me. Like, <laughs> he says this. He's like, dude, you're going to be so proud of me. I didn't drink for two days in a week for two weeks in a row. I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, that doesn't make any Whoa. sense. Thank you. That's Thank two, you. That's two different stats that you just mushed up to make it sound better than it is. <laughs> two, two days a week for two weeks in a row makes no sense to me. It makes no sense like glasses without lenses. Thank you. Yeah. Why are you yeah. even wearing them then? <laughs> 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 I yeah, go for you it. You got a story? Yeah, I got a story. Yeah. I came prepared. I, my list of stories. So a few years ago, I, I, I remember this story because we went to New Zealand together. I followed Wes on tour. And the time I went to New Zealand before that, uh, me and my buddy Gab, who lives there, we went out, uh, went out one night and things were going really well. We found, a, you know, I was, uh, he had, well, whatever. He's going to watch this, but I'm just, you know, anyways. So we went out and we found this girl. It was amazing. We found two girls and everything was going well. We're like, this is happening. It's going to be awesome. It's a good feeling, right? It's like 11 at night. We have a few hours to go. So it's happening. It's glorious. Then her friend just leaves. She had to go. So now it's just me and Gab and this girl. So I'm like, and she was mine. She, Gab's girl left, right? It's not mine, but you know. It was clear, you know? So we were we charm everything. <laughs> she was my property. Okay, so, uh, so things are going really well, and then she starts hinting about, a, you know, threesome, right? So it's a threesome, Cindy. I'm, I'm, where are you guys going? You, you guys are leaving during a threesome story? No, they're getting Jesus. beer. They're right, allowed right, yeah, to. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right, you're right, right. Anyways, so it's going really well, and then, like, she's hinting, like, oh, we should, how about all of us go back to the hotel? And we're like, yeah, why not, right? So yeah, great couple, idea. Why not? Why not? You'll live once. And then uh, a few hours, something happens, I don't know, and just... Gab starts being belligerent and she's turned off. So we get to the hotel room and then she's making it clear like she doesn't, she changed her mind, whatever, fine. So, so I'm like, Gab, you gotta, you gotta go, bro. Like, you know, he's like, well, am I supposed to, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Like, he's like, okay, just bro code, you know? Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna sleep in the car or whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever, fine, come back and whatever. Just be not here. Yeah, just don't be here, <laughs> yeah. I'll sock on the door. Anyway, so the next morning, the next morning he wakes up and he, you know, comes and knocks at the hotel door and he's like, yo, my car got vandalized. Like they ripped off the, the wing, he's got like a sports car, BMW, and they ripped off the wing of, of his car. It was so, a plane? What's that? <laughs> yes, yes, that? He was really upset. So then I'm like, I'm trying to tr troubleshoot because, you know, it was, he paid for the room, everything. Like it was, you know, I had some like friend duty to, you know, uphold. So we go, we go back to the, the security desk. We're like, hey, his car got vandalized. You have security footage. And the guy's like, oh yeah. And the guy's like, yeah, actually, yeah, no problem. Come in the back. And like, okay, we go in the back. So it's me, Gab, and this girl. We'll call her uh, Megan. And um, so we're, we're watching this. So sorry, Megan. We're, we're watching the footage. And as soon as, and he's, he's fuming, he's fuming. And, and it was a private garage. So we knew it was a like hotel guest. It was like locked, the fence in. Mm -hmm. So as soon as the, the security guard turns the, the camera on, Gab sees, he's like, okay, you know what? Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. 
and we're like, what? Like, yeah, like, he's like, no, no, the, the security guy's like, it's okay, we have like footage for like eight hours, we're gonna see who did this. And Gav's like, no, 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 it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. And we're like, what are you talking about? It's like, whatever, whatever, let bygones be bygones. We're like, what are you talking about? Story ended there. And a few years later, he admitted around, you know where this is going now, huh? He took er, his own card? No, around the campfire, he admitted that the way the camera, the camera was placed, you could see clear in the front seat, like clear as day, there was a light, you could see everything. And Gab being, you know, missing out on the threesome and being teased all night, he was a little horny. So he went in his car and he, you know, took care of himself. And as soon as the security guard turned, he's like, he saw that we were clearly gonna see everything and he just, you know, he just skipped it. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. the move. Yeah, My that's God. the move. That's the move. So that's the New Zealand story about Gab jerking off in his BMW. <laughs> well, Eric, you're not going to top that. Get off our stage. <laughs> okay, Everyone yeah. clap your hands. Hey, guys, gentlemen, Eric LeClaire. Amazing. <laughs> I didn't know where that was going. So Gab is Eric in that story, you, I gather, yeah. right? That was probably Eric telling a first-hand account. Oh, my God. <laughs> He bought, bought a patch a, at the, a army, patch store. At the army store. I just say, respect says, the beard. <laughs> respect the beard patch. All right. I might keep this beard. I think I look good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it actually. Yeah. I'm gonna go over here and do some magic now. Yeah, I feel you like get, get it done. Eric took a five minute thing and he made it 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's it's crazy to me how much energy that guy has. Like, I can't imagine him on any type of enhancement drug. <laughs> I don't think yeah, you have to imagine it. No, I mean... <laughs> I think we just saw it firsthand. Take it away, Wes. Oh, double fisting. Perfect. I like your style. This is great. Just in time. Yeah. Oh, this feels good to be here. The, 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 the no front row isn't even bothering me anymore. I'm not even bothered by it. I'm, uh, I'm going to do a couple magic tricks, because that's what we're going to do. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to try something I've been practicing uh, for a couple of years. And... Uh, and uh, we don't talk about the thing that's been happening for a couple of years on this podcast, if you're not aware. If you do accidentally mention it, you gotta do a shot. So we just don't talk about it, because who the fuck wants to talk about it? What are you talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about, right? Because we're all bored of talking about it. You don't even talk about it. All right, so during that time, uh, I've been practicing this. Uh, it's a trick with a ping pong ball. I'm gonna throw it in the air, I'm gonna catch it on my nose. Thank you, there you go, that's the right response. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. Let's see, guy in the beard right there. Do you believe I can do this, sir? Yes, I've seen your show. Thank you. <laughs> nice. He said, yes, I've seen your show. Yeah. And he still sits in the front seat, eh? What a guy. That's how you know it's guy. good. Yeah. That's how you know it's good. All right. How about the guy next to you? Has he seen my show? You never, never see seen my show? Mm, you're in luck, baby. All right. Uh, I'm gonna need a guy in the beard. Do you have any cash money in your wallet? Do you have any cash money in your wallet? No, okay, how about this guy? you have any cash money in your wallet? I got Oh man, this guy has never seen the show. <laughs> I'm actually looking for the whole wallet. Where's the wallet at? I want options. All right. Oh, this is a fancy wallet. Ooh. Chris, we gotta yeah. look at this guy's wallet. Let me see. It's got buttons and everything. What are we playing with? I don't know. Oh, it's like an EDC yeah. everyday carry. Let's go through it. Five or ten, what do you think? Uh, five or ten, what do you guys think? Five or ten for this trick? Ten. ten. All right, we got the ten. All right, I'll hang on to it. Chris will hang on to the money. He'll keep it fair. All right, what's your name, sir? Did you say John? John, all right. John, I thank you for this. Uh, this is a very fancy wallet, and uh, we only took the ten. You'll get it back soon. Uh, what was your name? Mark. Mark, I'm going to bet you... What do we get? Ten? Ten. I'm gonna bet you ten dollars, Mark, that I can do this trick. It's a new ten. Thank you, sir. I didn't have any. Oh, sorry. Your friend then. <laughs> I don't really care. It's not my ten dollars. Have you been following this? <laughs> All right. Ping pong ball. I throw it in the air and I catch it on my nose. Here we go. I have not practiced this with lights very much. This is very interesting for me. Okay, here we go. Hey! Not bad. <laughs> no, still no. This mic. Oh, Eric there you go. Eric was right. It is weird. I, I have uh, I have one more more trick, <laughs> one more trick I want to do for you guys, and you will get to see much more of my face in that one, which I know many of you were missing on that. Uh, but but to, to 
fully understand this trick, you have to understand why I came up with this trick. And how I came up with this, with this trick was, um, I'm not a fighter. I don't know if you can look at me and know that this guy doesn't, he's not a fighter, right? Um, but you might, you might think I am, I don't know. But I'll tell you straight up, I'm not a fighter. The only thing I know about fighting is from the amount of times I've seen Roadhouse growing up. Okay, that's it. All I know about fighting is from Patrick Swayze, okay? And dancing, actually, from Patrick Swayze. Oddly enough, surfing as well. And pottery from Ghost, if you think about it, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of Patrick Swayze movies. If you're under 35, you're confused. Um, <laughs> but no, so I go to Thailand one time, and I go to watch Muay Thai fighting. Keyword, watch. I'm sitting there, ready to watch this Muay Thai fighting. A guy comes up to me, he says, how much do you weigh? So I tell him, and he says, do you want to fight? And I'm like, yes. I don't, I don't know why I said that, but hey, vacation. So 30 seconds later, I'm in the back putting on all the gear, and then 10 seconds after that, I'm in a ring staring across at a guy I'm gonna fight. And he's a fighter, he has a coach. They're doing warm-ups. I'm... <laughs> questioning every decision I've ever made in my life and the audience can see it so this guy comes running around from the from the fight school side he's a shorter fatter drunker Conor McGregor and he comes running around and he sees I'm terrified and he goes do you know what you're doing and I said no and he said you're on the wrong side of ropes for that I, said, I know he said, okay I'll be your coach this is what we're gonna do you don't know what you're doing so you're all offense you're no defense you're gonna go in there you're gonna swing as hard as you can as fast as you can for as long as you can I was like, okay, uh, what else? He's like, that's it. I'm like, should I kick him? He's like, you don't kick him. You're gonna break your foot. Just swing as hard as you can for as long as you can. That's the play. I'm like, all right. So then, uh, what else am I gonna do? Ding, 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 round one starts. It's three one minute rounds. I'm terrified. And I get close to this guy and it starts, so we just, I do it with the plan that me and drug Conor McGregor came up with. So I just start swinging. And I am whooping this guy's ass. And I cursed me in the middle of this, oh yeah, this guy does this for fun. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> if you're ever in a fight and that's the difference, you have a slight advantage. I'm just, ah, as hard as I can. It was great. So I, the whole first round, I'm just da, 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 da. And then ding, 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 I go back to my corner. I survived the first round. I'm doing great. I get back to my corner. I'm like, that's not so bad. And he's like, I don't think it's gonna go the same way to next round. <laughs> and I was like, why not? He's like, well, you're clearly gassed out and he knows what you're doing. So I think, I just think next round's gonna hurt a lot more. <laughs> I was like, oh, what do I, what do I do different? He's like, oh, just more the same, more the same. <laughs> and I was like, uh, ding, ding, ding. I go in for round two. First thing that happens, I get kicked in the face. <laughs> now I'm like, uh-oh. And I started getting like, I was getting beat up a lot. Like, just, I couldn't do anything about it. At one point, he had me surrounded. <laughs> you ever been surrounded by one guy before? It's not a good feeling. So I had no fucking idea what I was doing. I'm just trying to get out of there alive. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, ding, ding, ding. That's round two. I go back to the corner, I look down, I'm leaving a trail of blood. I can already see bruises down the side of my leg, and I'm literally leaking out of my foot. And I go, I go, drunk Conor McGregor, we gotta stop the fight. He's like, why? I'm like, I'm bleeding. He's like, it's fucking Thailand. No one gives a fuck if you're bleeding. And I was like, what would you do? He's like, you finish this next round and they're gonna give you a free bucket of booze. I'm like, if I live? He's like, that's right, if you live. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I have to go back in for the third round. And what are you gonna do? Ding, ding, ding. I go back in and they, I guess this other guy decided to take it easy. I mean, not easy. I think him and his coach decided, you're gonna whoop this guy's ass, work on strategy. So the, the shots came less frequently, but m more, more, more directed. I was okay with that, to be honest. So I'm just trying to stay alive. It's only 60 seconds. And at one point, I'm like looking down because that's the only place I can hold my head. And I see, I see this guy's feet and he does this thing where he like sort of steps across. And I'm like, oh, this guy's gonna roundhouse kick me. Because I've seen Roadhouse. <laughs> so he steps across and Roadhouse. comes around. And this foot goes, I step back, the foot goes right by my face and he lands kind of in an open position. So I step forward and I punch him in the face. And he goes down hard, wham. And then he pops back up like one of those fucking clowns. So I go, wham, he goes, poof, and he goes, huh. And I go, ha, ah! and then I run. I run full speed to the other side of the ring. And as I'm running, the bell goes off, ding, ding, ding. I've survived all three rounds.
Yeah. Let's go. The quick, the quick recap of this is, first round, I was whooping his ass. Second round, he beat me up quite substantially. Third round, he was beating me up a lot, but I'm the only person to knock anybody down. So the refs do their little thing, come over, they grab both their hands, both hands in the air, it's a draw. So, yeah, if you think thinking of fucking with me, I am undefeated in Muay Thai fighting. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, oddly enough, brings me to this trick. I need someone here that isn't, is willing to throw a kick. We've Can actually you, flown out the Muay Thai guy please, uh, dear God. from Thailand. <laughs> please, dear God, no. Anyone else? I need, someone, I need a volunteer up here willing to throw a kick. Who feels like throwing a kick? I'll take anybody. Come on. You're way too eager, sir. Yes, come up here. This what's, guy. What's your name? Brendan. Brendan's coming up here, everybody. Oh, shit. Brendan's got those long legs. Look at him. Yeah. Brendan. Jesus Holy Christ. Fuck me. He's towering over you. This is a horrible idea. Do you Brendan's 5'9", by the way. Never, actually. You've never thrown a kick? Like soccer. Okay. I might have got the right guy after all. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to do something here. I'll show you. Come stand by the table real quick here. Yeah, for reference, Brendan's only 5'9", so just... <laughs> You're not helping. When he talks, you don't have to listen. Okay, uh, magician-wise, have you seen a card trick before? Yeah. Okay, so what happens with card tricks is magicians will do something like this. They'll say, uh, here, take a card. I'll touch the back of one of these cards. Just touch one. It doesn't matter. We're going to do an example here. Okay, you got it? Okay, now what happens is because the magicians are holding the cards, like, I know when I turn over this card, I know it's going to be the five of spades, okay? I know that for a fact. And sure enough, five of spades. Okay? But, that, <laughs> but that's because I get to touch the cards. Okay? It's easy. When I get to touch the cards, I can manipulate it to be whatever I want, whether it's five of spades or not. So we're going to do something here where I'm going to set the cards down, and I'm not going to touch them. You're going to get a free choice. Okay? So make a good choice. We'll get rid of that one here. What I want you to do, I'm not going to look. Pick out a card, grab one of those cards, remember it, and hold it against your chest. Remember it? You got it? Yeah, you can look at it. Yeah, you gotta look at it. You should probably know what it is. You remember it? Put it in your pocket. You got it? Okay, in fact, you know what? Let's show the audience. I really won't look. You guys should show the audience. Show the audience. Remember the card, everybody. Hold it against your chest, put it in your pocket, hide it away, whatever you want, something like that. Brendan, you got that? You done? Yeah. I'm gonna turn around now. All right, Brendan. Whew. Maybe put it in your pocket because you're gonna have to do some kicking in a second. Remember that? Remember the kicking part? Put that in your pocket. Everyone knows the card but me? Here we go. You're gonna put it on this. This is a Muay Thai shin guard. Now, this is something I noticed. I've been doing magic for a long time, and, and doing magic when I get to hold the cards, I found very easy, very fun. I'm very used to it. You know, then I went and had that horrible experience of Muay Thai fighting, and I learned something about pain. And something about pain that really taught me was about the clarity you could find in pain, right? Like, I, I really had some very clear thoughts. There's not much else you can think about when it's pain. So if you can direct that to something, maybe you can, you know, figure things out a little bit clearer. So I'm gonna get Brendan to kick me in the balls. <laughs> he said, can I buy you a drink first? <laughs> Which, oh, I good. think I need, I need so many drinks after. Okay, Brendan, this is the plan. I'm gonna try and figure out what your card is once you kick me in the balls. Okay, that's the play, okay? <laughs> now I know what you're like, oh, does he have a cup on? No, sorry. Okay, so. You're gonna kick me the balls, we protected your shin, you're good, okay? Yeah, slide her down a little bit, and then you're gonna give it a boot, okay? Now remember, I'm trying to figure out a card, one out of 52 odds. I'm not trying to guess the lottery numbers. So gauge your kick on that, okay? Think about the difference there. But definitely do, give it a good kick. Go hard, man. Jesus, fuck. Oh, yeah, calm well, that's calm Eric down. again, great. <sighs> I, I don't like how far back you backed up when I said this. <laughs> so how about, how about don't back up? How, about, how, how long is your leg? How long does the leg go? That's so long. Okay. All right. So why don't we just stand like that? Hey, oh, whoa. And make sure we get some shin there. I want to see some shin. Move forward a little bit. I want to get, well, I want, I want to hit some, yeah, I want to get some padding too. Okay, I don't need your Wait, toe. So, sorry, Wes, can I just ask him, have you ever got kicked in the balls? Me? Yeah, you. Oh. It hurts, right? It doesn't have to be hard, right? Hey, shut the fuck up. You, you can go, so you can I don't know where you're, you and Eric are not helping this situation. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you remember your card? Okay, I'm about to try and figure it out. So here we go, on the count of three, give me a boot. 
One, two, three. Oh, come on. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it a red card? It is a red card? Yeah. Kick me harder, let's go. No, no wind up. Let's go for it. Ah! Ooh. Two hearts. Hey! Two hearts? <laughs> Thank you very much, Brendan. You can take that off and you can go sit down and um, hey, we can move on. I think we can move on from this. I'm good. Good job, Brendan. <laughs> Everyone's like, Wes, who are your idols? I'm like, Steve O from Jackass. I just want to be an artist like that guy, yeah. you know? Fuck. Brandon, yeah, just drop great it there, job, y'all. Yeah, put that in the special spot. Big Thanks, round of applause for Brendan, Brandon, everybody. Here, grab one of these. Oh, Thanks, buddy. Thanks, bud. I gotta figure that out. Man. He did not, he did not expect this night to go this way. Brendan did not expect to do what he did tonight when he came out here. That's for sure. <sighs> I didn't like that trick, man. This is the second time I do that trick. I love that trick. What do you guys think? <laughs> That was a great trick. Hey, like, I should stop telling people the sleight of hand version yeah. and just perform that, and they won't know the difference. Well, because there's so many easier ways to find cards. I don't know if you've watched any YouTube tutorials. <laughs> Clearly haven't. That was a great trick. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> oh, fuck, I Sorry, it just takes so me a second for that one. I know that's why I do it at the end of my set, so I don't... I got another trick I'm going to do for you guys later on, but yeah. not right now. I'm going to take a little breather on that one, I think. Same, dude. I, <laughs> Yeah, yo, you're really beat up from that, are you? No, I've gotten uh, the biggest heart on right now. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I, uh, I feel like Brennan did good there. I'm glad he didn't try and kick me to the moon, which I he could He could have, man. The reach. I know. Just the reach on that guy. Was he 6'5", 6'4"? What are you? 6'5"? Yeah. Jesus, he's probably not even done growing either. Yeah, but he also doesn't go to the gym. <laughs> He didn't, yeah. wasn't buff, you know Good what I'm thing. saying? But he, yeah, but you said, you said like... Oh, I can see whatever I want now. He's not going to kick me again. Yeah. Right? You said like, has he ever kicked anything? He immediately went soccer. Like, yeah. that would have frightened the shit out of me. Soccer players... I know, I'm surprised he didn't get an injury when he kicked, kicked me. Nuts. I thought he was going <laughs> to... I thought he was going to fall over. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Should I tell an embarrassing story about my mother? Yeah, yeah let's do that. that. Let's do that. Then I'll know. tell one about your mother. <laughs> now, this... This actually, is a, this actually is an embarrassing story. It's about my childhood, and it's about, it's kind of an, ironically about my mom loved me too much. So my parents got uh, divorced when I was two, right? So I think it's been three decades, mom, we can talk about it. Um, and, and then, uh, forget she's here, it's fine. Uh, so <laughs> when, when parents get divorced uh, when I was two, it was like, I go to school, I'm like five years old, my parents have been divorced, that's all I know. And everyone else in the class, their parents didn't all get divorced till like when they were ten. So at the time, I was very—it was very unique. Uh, and my parents, they didn't—they did it in a weird way where they decided to share custody every other day. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to go to my dad's on Monday, mom's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, kind of like that. Which means, um, if you don't have two of everything, you got to go to school with your backpack for school, but also a duffel bag for all your clothes. So my teachers, for the first five years of school, thought I was running away every day. I was just this like little kid in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt dragging the suitcase around. I looked like the kid you'd, you'd kidnap, but also carried his own ransom. You know I mean? It was very bizarre. So I'm, I, I, has anyone, I mean, we got lots of divorced parent people in the audience, for sure. I mean, yes, of yeah, course. Give it up for divorced parents. Yes. It's the better weird way. Weird thing to clap to, guys. No, you guys are, are you kidding weird. me? That's way Why better. would you clap to that? That's weird. Just because your parents love each other doesn't mean that's the way to go. I don't know. That is not the way to go. Uh, but no, but like, it, I don't think anyone else probably had that situation where you switch every other day. Am I right? No. Yeah, that's weird as shit, right? Like my friend, my friend Justin, his mom, she, she's like, fuck this, and she just left. But my mom's like, I love you so much, I want to see you every other day. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Isn't that weird to anybody? Okay, sorry, back to the show. My bad. I just a little, a little no. diary entry there. For I don't know. Shit got real for a second. I was yeah. enjoying it, man. Well, we talked whatever we wanted this show. <laughs> just trying to be a little it. honesty. I love it so I'm much. I'm actually sort of passive-aggressively trying to ask my mom, what the fuck was that about? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to have that direct conversation. What was that about? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, she's not coming on stage. Then it'll get real, real. You want to see tears? Or you want to have a laugh? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, we, we actually have an actually special guest, we, don't we? We do have a special guest. Um, full a world of class. Yep. No, 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 keep talking, man. Keep going. You're doing great. 
Why don't you show us your beer can trick again, Chris? <laughs> I, as soon as I finish this one. Um, no, we do have another special guest tonight. He's a local magician, an absolute legend. What is he, three-time Penn and Teller fooler? Three times? Two, Four probably. times? Two? Five? I think six times, actually. I think he gets to, one more time, he gets to take over the show. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, it's going to turn into Can You Fool Sean Farquhar, and that's who we got here tonight. A local legend, an international <laughs> Canadian magic champion. He's somewhere in the it's audience. Sean Farquhar. Give it up for Sean. Come on up here. We are really springing on him, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're giving you guys a treat tonight. Yeah. Let's hey, go, buddy. Sean, I know you got hey, a keep it going for Sean. Let's go. <laughs> I know he's got a trick in his pocket, so I, I'm, we're hoping he can uh, wow us and then come and join us over here. So take it away. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey, how are you? <laughs> um, this is the largest crowd I've been in front of in like two years, so this is kind of freaking me out. Um, no, really, seriously. Uh, my entire last year, I've done shows for like 30 people at a time, so this is like my last year all in one room. It's kind of cool. Uh, hi, I'm Sean, and I'm a magician. Uh, big, huge fan of Bob. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Kind of cool. Um, I, I've been following the show because the magic is freaky cool. Uh, when Eric did his little mind reading, you know, prediction thing, very cool. Wes is doing the mind reading. Uh, mind reading. Uh, anybody can do mind reading, though. I mean, like, absolutely anybody can do mind reading. Uh, I'll prove it to you. I need a volunteer, so I'm going to get out this coin. If everybody could stand... No, just kidding. <laughs> what the hell was that about, Eric? Yeah. Wow. What a... Who would do a trick? Okay, so here's what I, I need one of you guys to pick someone in the audience that's going to be our, our spectator. I Wait, I can do that. We I have, can do that. We have I a device. I, I got a foolproof method of choosing a random person here. Do you like carry it on the plane with you? Uh, oh, well, this is good. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, but when you shot the first t shirt, it landed in the guy's lap and there was no reaction from it at all. He just sat there with a, I got a t shirt. <laughs> is that right, dude? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. good. Look, somebody gets a. Can I, sh I? You've never let me shoot this thing. Can I shoot it? Thank you. Oh, this is good. You jacked it up like that? You just push that thing down? Okay. And I do whatever I want? Yes. Will it do hot dogs? Safety's off right now, I think. Oh, oh that feels so good. I know. Oh, wait, it's Mika. Let's go. Hey, Mika. Oh, you can do it right where you are. Sit down and relax, Mika. Make yourself... Oh, oh, wait. Come up, said... come up, come up. That's good. Yeah, you can come up towards the front. You can even come up if you want to. Let's give Mika a big round of applause. Hey. Hi, Mika. So I got to know, what did you do on the production since they don't know? I was associate field producer. Oh, associate field producer. Big freaking job. That's what I, th I told him. That's what I said. Seriously, that's embarrassing. I thought she was the director. I don't know. Director, even better. Uh, Mika, uh, I want to try something really weird. Uh, these guys will tell you they've been traveling a lot with the show and everything, and they go all over the world. And as you travel, the producers always try to impress people. That's what they do. Uh, you arrive, you fly maybe 8, 12 hours, go to Dubai. How many hours did you fly to Dubai? 14. 14, but first fucking class, right? First class yeah. Emirates, yeah, yeah, baby. With a little divider in between, oh, sleeping. Amazing. Okay, I never flew that way, but I just, you know, in coach. But when you get there, the producers, the people that paid the ticket, they want to impress you. So you've just flown 14 hours, you're dirt bag tired, and what do they do? They put you in a limo, give you a drink, and say, what do you want to see? And then, then you, all you want to say is my hotel room. But you can't. You got to actually, like, say something. So I've gotten really clever. I started asking for things they can't show me. Like, if I went to Paris, I'd say, I'd really like to see Mona Lisa crying. <laughs> right? Because I can't show you that. Or uh, South Africa. 36 hours I flew to go to South Africa. And what did I say? They said, what would you like to see? I said, I'd really like to see an elephant being devoured by a lion. Because <laughs> I can't, if I landed in Vancouver, I'd say, I'd really like to see the Vancouver Canucks win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> It's too soon. Okay, it's, it's, I want you to think of something, Mika, that's completely impossible. Absolutely, entirely impossible for anybody to ever see. It can be anything you want to. You can put things together, like you take like a, an animal and a country and a color and some objects. So it could be like a green elephant in a blue Lamborghini in Vancouver. Whatever you want to, or it could be anything you want to. Whatever you want, I want it to be something that's absolutely impossible for anybody to ever see. I want you to have it let us know. Okay. Yeah, you can tell us. Sure. I'm imagining piloting a plane. Oh, a tiger piloting a plane. Any particular type of plane or just a plane? Commercial. Just a commercial plane. Have you ever made a prank phone call before? No. These guys do it all the time. <laughs> they phone me at 10 a.m. Hey, are you going to the show tonight? Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a prank phone call. We're going to phone somebody out of the clear blue. A tiger 
piloting a plane. We are going to phone somebody weird and we're going to ask somebody completely randomly if they can read her mind and hopefully they'll say a tiger piloting a plane. But, but it's going to be like a conduit through me. Pilot, tiger, a pilot. A tiger piloting a plane. That'll be good. Uh, to make this number, I don't want to actually dial somebody I know. So we're going to make up the number. And we're going to make it up one digit at a time. And the way to do that, let me just uh, go to the phone. Uh, as we dial this number, uh, you're going to tell me the area code. It could be like 778, 604, or 250. I started only picking those area codes for a reason. I've done this once before, and the number they started with was 44. That's England. <laughs> it was the middle of the friggin' night, and I learned some brand new words with a really posh accent. <laughs> and the worst part is, they're gonna have my phone number. So they phoned me at four in the morning to tell me, what do you think of it, asshole? It was very special. Okay, Mika, what's the three-digit code that we're gonna use? 778. Well, that's good, 778. Now the rest of this number, we're gonna make it up one digit at a time, but I wanna make it up from the people out there. So you can scream out a number, uh, try to take your time so that you're not stepping over top of other people, and we'll build the number. What's the first number? Four. Well, I, I saw, I heard a seven and I heard a four. What's next? Nine. Nine and eight, I heard those. And another one. Three. Three and one. One. Three. Zero. Three, and we got a number. Let's just hit uh, call, I'll put it on speakerphone, make sure it's up, and let's annoy somebody. What the hell's going on? The number down does not in service. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was as exciting as Eric's trick. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I love you, brother, I love you. Um, Wait, <laughs> Eric isn't that and I Eric? roomed together once, and, and you know what I learned? He likes to be naked. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. What area? That's all I want to do. Leave you with that thought. Uh, what number would you like to begin with, Mika? 604. Oh, I think that one stands a better chance. 604. Okay, give me some numbers. Seven. Seven? Five. 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 Eight. Two. 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 One. Seven. Zero. Zero. Need one more. Four. Four. Okay, we call the number. Let's see. Speaker phone. Oh, please, God. Somebody answer. It's ringing! Oh, yay! Okay, it's ringing. Hello? Uh, uh, good evening, ma'am. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm calling from the Rio Theater in Vancouver. Please don't hang up. This isn't a sales uh, call. Rio? Yeah, the Rio Theater in downtown Vancouver. It's open uh, again. Cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, um, uh, well, we're, we're doing something really cool. We're at the Rio Theater. I'm doing a live magic show. Uh, do you like magic? Uh, kinda. Oh, cool. Yeah. I, it's really cool. I'm here with, with uh, Wes Barker and Chris Ramsey. Uh, they're stars of a show. Who? Uh, Wes Barker and Chris Ramsey. Oh, okay, I don't know them. <laughs> Are you a fan of magic? Well, sorta, yeah. I watch that, that, uh, what's their faces on TV sometimes, uh, um, the Penn and Teller guys. Oh, do you watch Penn and Teller, that foolish show? Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Wes yeah. Barker fooled them. It was a fluke, but he oh. fooled them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I fooled them. I fooled them twice. Yeah, I fooled really? them twice. Yeah. Um, wow. Then everybody say hi. Hi. Can you hear that? Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> We got like a full house, they're rocking the place. Last night they were in Calgary and they filled the place. And tomorrow they're in Victoria and apparently you guys are sold out, right? Yeah. It's like 80 seats, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, th thanks for playing along. Ma'am, there's a lady here and I've asked her if she would think of something and then I told her that I can make anybody read a person's mind. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you're gonna be the person that reads her mind. Would that be cool? <laughs> no fucking likely. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I will make it happen. Here's what Mika's gonna think about the thing. I'm gonna be a conduit, I'm gonna hear her thoughts, I'm gonna pass them through the phone to you. You, all you do is clear your mind, and the first thing that pops in, don't edit it, uh, don't try to make it into something, whatever pops into your head, you can just tell us. Does that sound cool? Hello? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, I really appreciate this. Okay, I'm gonna count backwards from three. I'll do like three, two, one, on one. That's when the message will begin to be, uh, come across. Mika, that's when you'll start thinking. And man, that's when you'll start listening in your brain. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> so glad you're on tune with this, awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah? What? <laughs> did, 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 did anything pop in your head? Well, 
Yeah, but it's kind of stupid. <laughs> that could be good. That could be oh? good. Well, well, what kind of image popped in your head? Well, I, I was just dreaming about traveling, but it was weird because um, there was this tagger just flying the plane. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Can you hear that crowd? Yeah? But you just actually spread Mika's mind. Hey, uh, earlier, oh. uh, Wes got kicked in the balls. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, he got kicked in the balls. There was a card. There was a card. Do you, do, you, do you have any idea? I'm thinking of the card. What card did Wes pick when he got kicked in the balls? Oh, I don't know. I know my favorite card. It's What's two that? of hearts. Oh. Wow. Give this lady a big round of applause. Thank you for playing, ma'am. You were awesome. Bye-bye. Join us, sir. I know what I'm doing on Fool Us. What? Thanks for coming. <laughs> Sean, buddy. He bought a ticket to do this. That's <laughs> insane. I thought it was Eric the whole time. I was like, fuck, it's Sean Parker. <laughs> that is... Insane trick. Wow. Um, it's cool, right? It's well, it's our job, job, too. Yeah, I know. It looks like different jobs. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm, oh, amazing. I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm thoroughly, yeah, my mind's, I don't know, there's probably a lot of you out there, too, that are like, how do you do that? I was ready for Invisible Deck. Oh, yeah. anybody can read a mind. <laughs> Holy shit. Fantastic. How you been, man? I'm good. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the largest crowd I've been in front. Opened a little theater, yeah. only seats 30 people, so big crowds scare the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah, you got a theater, right? You got a theater where you do close-up magic? Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Where is show. it? Tell us about it. Oh, uh, Hidden Wonders. Uh, it's a speakeasy in New Westminster, hidden behind like a fake store. Wow. Uh, I basically, uh, it looks like a real store. You come in, uh, you meet a host who gives you a little skeleton key. You got to go look. It's like a reverse escape room. Amazing. And, <laughs> and you find a keyhole, the wall opens up, you go into a lounge, and from the lounge into this little 30-seat miniature theater, uh, and I do a choose-your-own-adventure, so I don't do the same show twice. I've done 215 shows, and not one of them has been the Jeez. same. Jeez. And what's it called again? Hidden Wonders. Hidden Wonders, guys. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> wow. Damn. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool. And I don't have and to fly anywhere, and I sleep in my own bed. Yeah. <laughs> and that's and that's on top of, uh, you're also you're also working on a documentary. I am. And you're an executive producer of my documentary. You too. I just so Bob, happen to be an executive Bob producer. Bob promoted our film. We Absolutely. We a Kickstarter. And great. Like, I mean, obviously, this is such a great premise. I would love you to just share... The premise of this documentary, if you could, if you could uh... give little notes, because the uh, director and producers out there, and he told me not to talk about the secret, so you'll all go see the movie. Uh, it's called Lost in the Shuffle. You can go to lostintheshuffle.film. It's uh, a murder mystery. It's a 500-year-old cold case murder uh, that I discovered. The m hidden meanings are all in a regular deck of cards. That the cards were made, and it tells the story of the king of France being murdered. And I found all the clues hidden in a deck of cards in all the images of the court cards. And people, we've looked at cards all our lives and never seen it, right? Yeah. yeah. But when I showed you some of the little details, you were like, yeah. crap, I've never seen that stuff before, right? Fantastic. Yeah, it just... So fucking nerdy also, but really fucking <laughs> fantastic. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm just, we're all nerds here, stop. Like, you guys are here because of your nerds, and nerds are cool now. So we're good with it, right? We're totally cool with being Thank nerds. You. And Thank I picked you. four of the coolest nerds. I've got um, Richard yep. Turner, mm -hmm. who is probably the best card mechanic in the entire world. Absolutely. He, he sure. deals a deck of cards 22 hours a day, and he's blind. And he is the best card mechanic you'll ever So, hang on, you mean he has a bag on his head the whole time? <laughs> yeah. No, wow. he's actually blind. Oh, okay. He's allegedly. You gotta, blind. you gotta stop saying, well, you gotta say allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> yeah, he's really blind. I, uh, he gave me the best <laughs> quote ever. He said, um, uh, I was the best uh, magician he's never seen. <laughs> he fired, you know why he fired his manager, right? I did not know that. Yeah, I put him on stage backwards. <laughs> hey, well, Chris Ramsey, everybody. Come on. And I got Juan Tamariz, who's like like the king of cards from Spain. Uh, Michael Vincent, who uh, is a deaf magician. And Alexandra Duvivier from France, who is like a woman of magic, yeah. which is pretty rare. Yeah. Not as rare as it used to be. But yeah. she also fooled Penn and Teller. Yeah. For a second there, it sounded like you're trying to assemble one full magician. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. Yeah. Why not take all of me? Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is like, well, it, it's actually like the Avengers cast of like magicians. It's pretty crazy. Those it are is. all absolute legends. 
in their own right. So that's uh, and where can people where can people look for that? Uh, right now, Lost in the Shuffle dot film. You can go check it out. You can subscribe for when it's coming out. The trailer is really cool, and uh, our funding has come along amazingly well. We're just waiting for the Telefilm grant. If that comes through, we'll start to film in September, and we should have it around April. Right, John? Yes, sir. Yay! Yes, sir. John agrees. Wait, the same John? Different John? Okay. Not the John with the bag on his head. Different John, not yeah. John with the bag on his head. Um, all right, Sean Farquhar, you're an absolute legend. You, you're, you're an inspiration to people like us. Obviously, we've been watching you for years. What are you, just before you go, like, obviously, one of your videos, like, pretty much inspired the shit out of me to get into magic, and it was... Uh, it, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Shape of my heart. Oh, I'm a giant fan cards. of both of you guys know that. And, I didn't um, care for that video. Yeah, I didn't care for that video <laughs> at all. Yeah. Big uh, fan of a lot of other things. Yeah. I just, you know, yeah, because I know it's romantic. And it, it's, well, it, it involves was, skill. And there was no and was alcohol. Like, uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No one got kicked it. in the balls. Nobody so got good. kicked yeah. in the balls. It's, um, yeah, I, I was inspired by the music of Sting, and I created a piece of music that I've got to do, I think, uh, uh, three presidents. Uh, Nelson Mandela, I got to perform it for. I stole Nelson Mandela's wow. watch off his wrist. It's really? my favorite story of all. I was in uh, South Africa. I stole the watch off his wrist. Everybody's reaction is usually the same. Wow, right? Not Nelson Mandela. He just looked at his personal security guard and said, aren't you supposed to see stuff like that? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> right? That's good totally point. Best ever. But yeah, that's... it's a They call that the Mandela effect. <laughs> the trick you did for I swear I had a watch on my wrist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good. I'm here all day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Sean Farquhar, thanks so much thanks for joining us. You're an absolute legend. Yeah, you. My pleasure. You absolutely fooled the shit out of everybody here, 100%. Thank you. Sean Farquhar. You guys are going to retroactively realize how special this show was. This is, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to watch everything yeah. back. Like, oh, oh, we have four cameras on this trick. Comb. I'm going to figure that out. I am annoyed by that. That's good. I like that a lot. That was really good. Hey, Eric, any idea? Don't care. Shut up, Eric. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, does anyone want to see Chris Ramsey do some magic tonight? Chris. All right, hold on. Oh, shh. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not going to do it again. I've ruined it forever. I will do something, though. Let me put this down and grab that one. So we got uh, Chris, another special guest, and a big finale. Uh, nobody tells you that being on stage drinking, you have to pee eventually, right? That's, that's the thing, I, it slips my mind. Um, all right, everybody's still doing good? Everybody's good? Yeah. How many of you guys watch like the puzzle videos and stuff? All right. Pretty much my audience here, Wes. Um, uh, what, anybody know what this is? Cryptex, Jesus Christ, yeah. Yeah, it's cryptex. Um, you see this in movies like The Da Vinci Code, where like you can change up the letters, and there's a code, and then it opens, and there's like secrets inside, right? You know this? Yeah. So I'm gonna give this to one of you, you sir. What's your name? Kabir. Kabir? I'll have a Kabir. Um, Kabir, can you catch it? Don't drop it. Good catch. Uh, your job, Kabir, you can fiddle with it, you can try to open it, you can find a word, see if it works. Uh, you don't have to if you want to pay attention to the show, but if you don't, just fiddle around with it and see if, uh, see if you can get it. If you do end up opening it, just know that you've ruined the trick. <laughs> but you can try. Just don't try so hard. Um, all right. For this... Actually, you know what? Before we get... You, you keep going. Before we get into this, I do want to try something that I've never tried out before, and this is just, like, on my personal bucket list. How many people we got here? Like 200 people? Yeah. I would, this might not work, but it's just something I want for the video. Um, I'm gonna ask all of you, on the count of three, to crack your knuckles. <laughs> if you cringe, I see this lady right here, they're plugging their ears. If you cringe, plug your ears, okay? On the count of three, we're all gonna crack your knuckles. <laughs> this ought to be so good. I, I feel like this is gonna be great. One, two, three. <laughs> That's my time. That was fucking great. I don't know. Ugh. Weird. Weird, right? That's all, that's all, that's, that's all I got. Um, you know what? Normally magicians, here's the thing about magicians, is that we often spend a lot of time convincing the audience that the spectator who's up here isn't in on it. Now, I know a lot of you guys watch magic tutorials and you know about magic, so you know, for the most part, the spectator isn't in on it. But normally... Like, you have to convince people, especially if the trick's really good, it leaves you, that's the only explanation, right? You're like, 
person's in on it. That's, that's all I got left. Um, but it's really hard to convince someone that the spectator isn't in on it. So instead, I'm going to convince you that he is. So much easier. It's really easy. Um, so I'm going to do that. Oh, thank you. Is that the good? Is that the good t-shirt? Oh, thank you, my lovely assistant. Give it up for Wesley. You got to prime it up. All right, here we go. I'm going to prime this up. I love this thing so much. TSA is rummaged through my bags every single <laughs> flight. It's insane. Going through all my invisible decks, messing them up. Um, all right, we're going to choose an audience member here. Ready? Well, that went deep. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. All right, whoever caught that shirt, I want you to put it on and make your way up to the stage, please. Put it on. Put it on before you get up here. Yeah, put it on. <laughs> Said no one ever. Yeah, put more clothes on, that's right. Put it all on. Oh wait, the, the sticker from China is still on. Let me just, yep, there you go. Oh, great, he's in on it. That's perfect. This is gonna be easy. So much better when they're in on it already. What's your name, sir? George. George, nice to meet you. Chris. Uh, George, where are you from? I'm from here. From here? From the Rio? Sick. What a coincidence, he lives under the stage, amazing. Uh, so he truly is in on it, ladies and gentlemen, which is fantastic. Um, since you're in on it, this is going to be really easy to convince the audience that you are in on it. And this is my whole point. This is, this is what it's about. I have a book here. Actually, let me grab this. Headset mics are a great asset sometimes. All right, so we got a book here. This is a dictionary, okay? And George, you're going to verify here that uh, the pages are indeed different. There's A, there's B. And in a second, I'm going to ask you... Uh, just to open the book anywhere and basically, uh, basically, hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> basically have a look at the first word and the last word on the page. So here would be like, on the same page. So here's like cleverness and Latin. Um, here it might be, let's just open another page here. About and what's that, person? Okay, so just open it randomly at a page. Oh, thank you. Just, 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 uh, and don't flip through, just open it because it has to be just random, open it, look at the, look, go ahead. Look at the first word and then and the last word, you got it? Close it up, all right. You got that? Just quick, it's in your mind. All right, since you're in on it, we both know the word. Obviously. Um, you can hold this in your hand, right? Both objects, actually. One normally goes on your hand. Is that is a bracelet? And mango. Pretty great, right? Pretty impressive, right? I don't know why you're clapping. I, uh, he's in on it. This is what you're not understanding. He's, he's actually in on it. Um, do you know how this trick is done? I have no idea. Uh, have a look through the book. How's the trick done? It's the same on every page. It's the same on every page, yeah. Okay. Magic is easy. It really is easy. Um, I got another trick here, but before we get to this, I feel like we need to train your mind a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm saying that, but he's in on it. He knows what I'm going to do already. I'm going to try, I'm going to try this here. I got something, I got a little list of words here. And, uh, I want you to see that all the words are, are definitely different. Yeah. This time have a, have a good look. All the words are different. Yes. Okay. Uh, lift it up anywhere and just look at a word and keep that word to yourself. Yep. Lift it up. You got it. Perfect. Okay. Oh, thank you, Wes. All right, you know the word? I know the word, obviously. He's in on it. Um, but for the sake of, this is a magic show, we have to pretend you're not in on it for a second. So uh, you, you're a Vanna White this? No, what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on uh, your word right now, in your mind, okay? Um, okay. Was this in your browser history recently? Be honest. No, okay, he's not being honest, but that's fine. 
Um, it's kind of wild, right? Yeah, he says, yeah. There's a Z in this word. There is. There's a E. There's a B. There's an R. There's an A. I think we all know what this word is. On the count of three, I want you to say it out loud. One, two, three. Zebra. Zebra. <laughs> George is supposed to be in on it. We had this talk. Uh, half the crowd laughed at that, by the way. <laughs> Except for like the married couples. I'm not laughing at that. That's not funny at all. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Never heard about it in my life. That's a strange name for an animal. Okay. All right. You know what? Maybe we'll try something else this time. Since uh, we're not so simpatico, um, I want you. I want you to plug your ears. Plug your ears. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Plug your ears then. Okay. And I'm going to. I'm going to signal to you. Uh, in your head, an idea, and I just want you to think about that, all right? So plug your ears as hard as you can. <laughs> you got it? You got, you, okay, you can unplug your ears. I sent you, I sent you an idea. Hopefully this time it works. Okay. Yeah, you don't look at this. All right, George. That is your real name. Of course it is, George. Think about, think about this thing. I want to try to. George, can. Is this hot? Could be. He says could be. George, is, it, is this easy to turn on? Yeah. <laughs> he says yes. I think we all know that. George, go ahead and say, what, what, is, what is the word you're thinking of right now? It's a light bulb. <laughs> light bulb, obviously it's a light bulb. That's it, we got it. We got there. All right, now that we're warmed up. All right, George, this time, have a look through this book. It's a great book, by the way, Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Has anybody read it? Great book. Yeah. Also, uh, Wes's wardrobe inspiration. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do anything. Are those bananas? Uh, have a look through, make sure all the pages are indeed different. For real though. Whenever you're satisfied, don't actually read the whole book, just... Great, okay. And I want you to stand, we're gonna stand back to back here, you're gonna stand behind me here. And we're gonna stand back to back, you... All right. I want you, George, to go to any page. You can stand back to back to me, yeah. Any page, go to any page you want. I'm gonna try to, and remember, you're in on this, George. I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to figure out what it is you're, you're reading. What page, what page are you at? 69. 69, nice. <laughs> nice, he says 69. <laughs> All right, 69. Let me, let me just concentrate for a second here. I'm getting greater cause, and because it meant something, they were able to endure it, or perhaps even enjoy it. Is that right? Did I get that? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> amazing. This is insane. So glad he's in on it. This is so much easier. Uh, go ahead and, and flip to another page. Let's see if I can get it. What page is that? Uh, 112. 112, 112. It's coming to me. Hold on. Hold on. It's coming to me soon. I'm kind of, I'm getting it now. People get addicted to feeling offended all the time because it gives them a high, is that right? That is correct. You are so good. You are so good, you're a spot on. Okay, all right, see, see how easy this is? See how easy magic is? It's so easy. I'm a professional, okay. Uh, we're gonna try something else, so we'll put this, put this book there, uh, still, same, same exact book, you can have a look, right? Uh, this time, however, 
we're going to try something a little bit more impossible. I'm going to use this, i got a bookmark here, and I'm basically going to run it down the side of the book. And wherever you decide stop, and it's very important, that's exactly where the bookmark is going to go. Okay? Oh, go again? It's up to you? Yeah. Right there? Okay. Uh, I want you to look at the first word of the page and the page number and keep that in your mind. And remember, you're in on it. Remember what we talked about. Okay? All right. Ready? First word and the page number. Got it? All right, perfect. Hold this book. For the first time, George, what was the page number? You can say it. 100? Go to page 100. Page 100. It is gone. Page 100, John. It's not there. Page 100. How did you see it if it wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, you show them. It is torn out. It is torn out. Strange. <laughs> hmm. What was the word, George, that was on that page? Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. Um, De Beer? <laughs> Sorry, I have mnemonics. Uh, Kabir, uh, Kabir, if you could come up here and, and hand that crypt text over. Yeah, come up, come up, come up. No. <laughs> hand, that, hand that to George, I'll hold the book. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Don't talk like that to Kabir. Thank you, Kabir. Uh, put the, you see the arrows here? Put the word creepy in it. And Kabib, you tried to open this. It wouldn't open any other way, right? Is it Khabib now? I'm fucking butchering this man's name. Somebody get this man a Kabir, please. Thank you. So creepy. We're all uncomfortable. Creepy. Creepy. C R. Right there. Yeah. What's inside? It's the page that you said you saw. George, tell everybody if it matches exactly. Down to the rip. Hey! George, hell yeah. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll take that. Thank you, George. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah. Thank you so much. Chris Ramsey, everybody. Hey! For my last trick, I will make a beer appear. Hold on. You want to do it again? No. Thank God. No, I'm going to do it later when you're not expecting it. It's going to be <laughs> fucking great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Chris, I hate to interrupt this whole, uh, you know, applause you're getting for yeah. your phenomenal performance. We're running exactly ten minutes behind. Yeah, yeah. No, because here, yeah. of fucking Eric Leclerc. Yeah, because of his coin. Because of his goddamn flipping of a coin. I don't know. I don't know how he thought that was going to go. I think he thought we were going to be at a show with 30 people. Yeah. That's probably what he thought. Or he doesn't know math. Yeah. Both of those likely. Makes sense, too. Yeah. Uh, so what we, ha we have a very special We have uh, one more special guest, and then we have a little finale trick for you, everybody here. Uh, are you clapping because it's almost over? Are you clapping because you're excited? I can't say. A little bit of A, a little bit of Okay, thank you very much. All right, so uh, we have a very special guest because um, we promised a comedy magic show. Uh, and we got a guy here coming to bring the comedy in this. This guy, I mean, he's been on Comedy Central. He's been on Jimmy Kimmel. He's a proud supporter of Amber Heard. Uh, we're gonna bring out the wow. guy right now. Wow! Oh yeah, no, she's he, so oh, hot. Yes, he, here we go. <laughs> Everybody, please welcome my best friend, Dino Archie. Dino. <laughs> you did your research, bro. I, I fuck with Amber Heard heavy. <laughs> Everyone's on Johnny's side. I like Amber Heard. I like. Um, can we switch mics? I don't trust this mic. I just switched it. Did you switch it? All right. Thanks. Um, yeah, I don't trust anything here. This is like a house of illusions, man. This is. I, yeah, I've never watched the show. But I'm. So I'm in in the back the whole time, and I'm like, what the fuck? This guy's doing a long range Me Too, like. This is, I was nervous. I was like, you're getting kicked in the nuts for, for, for no reason. 
people are giving their wallets away. This is fucking, I'm not used to it. I don't know where I fit, I don't do magic. Like, <laughs> but what if I had one trick and I took off my mask, I was Trudeau the whole time? That would be dope as shit. I was like, it was me, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I went. I think I want to know what he did that day. Like everyone's like, oh, the picture. I want to see the day that he had. Like if he was like, I'm just gonna do black shit like today. <laughs> he was just hooping at the fight. I wonder if he was not. I like. Did he get nice ever? <laughs> That's too. <laughs> See, like, why, you guys stopped at the photo. You got mad on, on my behalf, and I was never mad. Like, you were like, how could he? Ah, blackface. In a time like this. It, he didn't do blackface. He didn't just do the face. He did the whole, he did the elbows. The knee, he did black ass. That's a whole different thing. I wasn't offended, man. Um, yeah, no, I don't got uh, any tricks. Uh, I don't even, barely have any jokes. I haven't done work. I haven't worked in two years, but I found out I was not essential. Like, they didn't need me. So I took two years off, man. I started a clothing line, you know. I did other shit, man, you know. I knit, you know what I'm saying? I sewed this to match the curtain. I'm, I'm lit. I... I'm, I'm glad though, I'm taking any gig, so I'm, thank you, man, for having me, man. This is, this is dope, man. Yeah, whatever, you know. Yeah, I was out of work because of your grandma. That's crazy. I didn't under, I never understood it. I got that, I don't, I got it. I got the thing, but not because I believe it. I'm a coward. I needed to work. <laughs> And it was to save your grandma. And I was like, man, inside, I was like, man, fuck your grandma. Like that, that's how I felt. Cause they did, they stopped everything to save your grandma. And I was like, since when did you give a fuck about your grandma? Like before, yeah, you weren't fucking with your grandma. You weren't fucking with Nana or whatever you call her. Cause white people, you, you're different with your grandmas. You know, you don't give a fuck about your grandma. <laughs> Yeah. People would get, I would get in arguments online. People would get mad at me. Cause I said, man, fuck your grandma. They go, cause of people like you, I can't see my grandma. <laughs> that doesn't make any, that never made sense to me because black people, when our grandmas get to grandma and we move them in with us. <laughs> we put them somewhere in the back room, somewhere. We can see her whenever we want. <laughs> like. Hey, big mama, what you doing? Oh, nothing, baby. Just watching my shows, baby. Okay, mom, you need something. Let me know, baby. Okay. Right? Where's your grandma? Where'd you, where'd you put this fucking lady? Right? Where is, where, 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 where is she? Then the people get quiet and like, oh, we put her in a storage locker with 800 other grandmas. And, and you're not essential, you cocksucker. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, de that's definitely not, uh, what I'm saying isn't on the right side of history. Um, <laughs> and it's not because I'm doing it on purpose, it's just because I did have time to figure out that I identify as a toxic male. <laughs> that I do know. Because, not because I choose, it's just what you, you tell me. It's like, that's toxic. Like, like my girl, Told, she was like, you gotta watch the Tinder Swindler. This guy's a monster. And I watched it and I was like, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was fucking good at what he did. You know, I was rooting for him. And I was like, oh shit, I guess that's toxic. Like, I just don't get it. I just don't get how you will fall for that. Like only, no black woman would fall for that. Like, you could not trick a black woman into giving you 20 grand because of your enemies. If you called a black woman, you're like, my enemies, baby love. She'd be like, don't you got some cousins you could call? I need 20 grand, hello? <laughs> Fuck. I, I identify, I think everyone's fucking toxic though. That's, 
I do. I think everyone's a piece of shit. I don't think anybody's. But that's just me. But I, I own my shit. I'm, I identify as toxic, but I'm still, I'm open-minded. I'm just ignorant. There's a, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just dumb at certain shit. But I'm open-minded. Like, I, I, it's a little at a time. Like, I fuck with pronouns heavy. Oh. Love a good pronoun. I love pronouns. Right? That's, oh, that's, yeah, that's, people are choked up about, pro, give me more pronouns. Let me do the, you do the work for me. Cause I like to know, it, it, you know, you go into a coffee shop, you see a, 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 a lady that's handsome. You don't fucking know. Look at that name tag. They there. That's my shit. I'm a, I'm a them they. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I like that. She, her. Yes, bitch. <laughs> I have my own pronouns. Uh, I, I like to be called that nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. That nigga. That's what I enjoy being called. But no one wants to respect my pronouns out loud. <laughs> so maybe you guys got a little bit of work to do. Food for thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's crazy because I'm getting married in three weeks. But I'm not, but I'm not gonna change. Like something about, you, like now you somehow you just have to go to therapy. You got those friends that bully you, oh, you gotta talk to someone. I'm, no, I'm not working on me. I like me. I'm not gonna pay some white lady to pay to start snitching on my family. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, man. I'm not gonna change, man. I know, that's, and that's supposed to be toxic. Nah, fuck. I'm not about that happy wife, happy life. No. You know what? That, that happy wife, happy life is what got Chris Rock slapped. <laughs> yeah, because of that old happy wife, happy life. That's toxic. Yeah, I don't give a shit about my girl's happiness. That's, <laughs> that's her problem. My happiness is my problem. You know what I mean? I think if, if, I, if you're having a bad day, that's your bad day. I'm over here like, hey, hope you get better. <laughs> like, but vice versa, if I'm having a shitty day, I'm like, hey man, don't worry about it. <laughs> my girl had her bachelorette in Vegas. I said, do it up. I sent her money. Like, turn up, man. I felt like, I was like, uh, 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 Morgan Freeman and Shawshank Redemption. I was like, go, oh, Andy, you're free. <laughs> so I believe in that. I don't believe in putting too much weight on, on a, your lover. Like, I don't, yeah, why? I don't, yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta give them space. I don't even know what my girl does for work. <laughs> I have no, I have an idea. Something with the law, something legally. <laughs> I don't know, but, but but I give her a massage every day. Cause she does, she works hard. I give her a massage, right? I'm like, and a good one too. And I don't let her give me a massage. I outsource <laughs> to a fucking professional. <laughs> yeah, man, I get a pro every week, same girl. She's the shit. And she, she massages me so good. Guys know this, 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 have you ever had this feeling when you're getting a massage so good that you gotta tell yourself she doesn't love me. <laughs> then you have this debate. You're like, but how does she know your body so well? She has to be your soulmate. Run off with her. And it's like, no, you're paying her money, man. Right? Have you ever got a massage from the woman that, that claims to love you? Yuck. Goddamn disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in a relationship, your massage is trash. <laughs> oh, it's awful, man. The, your little weak first world country hands. Never seen a hard day's labor. Get tired all quick after five minutes. Like, how was it? Get off me. You don't love me. I would have done <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm excited though. It's cool. I'm not excited. It's just like, it's, it's whatever. It's just going to be the same shit. It's going to be lockdown. 
We did lockdown together, and I'm like, I, this is okay. We could do this forever, I guess. <laughs> yeah, lockdown is cool. Same thing. Like, let's just not piss each other off. Let's respect each other. Play cards. I'll eat your pussy and your ass sometimes. <laughs> Call it a night. It's a, it's a good deal. Um, I live in the West End. In uh, English Bay, yeah, yeah, I live over there, man. And uh, the only thing I'm scared, I'm not scared of the cops out here in Canada. I'm scared of the crows. <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, you the cop, and I'm American, so I, I'm, I don't even fuck about the cop. I only get scared when I see crows. And I didn't know, a crow punked me off the block. I was walking. <laughs> Yeah, my girl was, she's terrified, and she was like, oh, the crows, and I was like, fuck a crow. What's a fucking bitch-ass crow gonna do? And I was walking, <laughs> and I just heard, Caw! like, so, and then wind flew by my ear, and then it perched up in front of me and looked dead at me, and it said, Caw! like, it felt like it was calling me a nigga. It felt racist. It felt fucked up. I just had to start running. I had a backpack. I was swinging it. Fuck. Oh. So, uh, I live, it's crazy, man, uh, living in Vancouver. Now I'm here permanently, and there's just, there's just shit that, that the city does, and, and I don't know who's it, who it's for. Like, there's a thing now where you, you, can't, you can't get a bag. It's just a thing that they decided. But you, I don't even know if you remember, before lockdown, you go into a place and you get some loose items <laughs> that you clearly needed help holding. And then and, and it would come with the deal. <laughs> like, no, you, know, you don't care what bag, just a, some sort of the shittiest, give me the shittiest bag you have, good sir. And they put it in there. <laughs> and they see you around, right? Now, somehow they ban, it's outlawed. Bags are outlawed. I went into McDonald's. That, out of all, I go into McDonald's and I'm 39. At this age, when you go into McDonald's, you already feel like a fucking loser. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, man. And I keep my mask on in there. I don't even, it's not for COVID, it's just I don't want them to see me. I do the order like a bank robbery. I'm like, turn around, bitch. <laughs> right, she's like, how, how can I help you? And I start, you make a grotesque order, you're like, I'll take 58 McDoubles, 27 apple pies, and a, and a, a fucking, a mix, <laughs> a, what a McGriddle or some old shit, whatever the mix are, I'll take one of those. And then they go, do you need a bag? <laughs> Who's that for, man? Like. But no, I don't need a bag. I'm just gonna run out of here like the hamburger. <laughs> ain't fucking having. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get who's asked for, man. I live in the West and I saw this person driving a car and on the side it, it, it said, Putin, stop. <laughs> <laughs> who's that for? <laughs> who's gonna... <laughs> Like, yeah, like Boone's about to hit the nuke on Kiev, and he's like, comrade, wait, check your Instagram. This lady wants you to stop. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll stop. Yeah, yeah. That's it for me, guys. That's it for me. Hey. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should have told me when. Well, can I, well, yeah, I'll just keep. <laughs> I was, I was like, what kind of watch you got? You got yeah, the, you got the same watch Eric Scott? You know, you guys, I'm gonna give you he's going to do three, you're going to do five. You guys, you guys did 30. You guys did 30. Tell me, watch, you guys are too shy. You say, hey, shut the fuck up. Man, it's our show. You're being funny, and I didn't want to use your pronouns. God. So I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Why don't you respect my pronouns? If you would have respected my pronouns, I would have been got off stage. Way too many cameras yeah. to respect your pronouns. I don't know what I'm doing out here. That is this too when's much. We'll, that's when we'll know we're all equal, when you can respect my pronoun. Yeah. <laughs> until That's then. we'll finally solve until, racism. Until then. I will, until then, I yeah. will not be first in line. Yeah, you're, a you you're a coward. <laughs> you're a coward. You're right about that. Holy shit. Sorry for going long, guys. That was I, great, man. Oh. He's good, right? <laughs> Where are you from? You said you're from America. Where are you I'm from? from uh, 
I'm from a nice little shit town, bro, uh, called Fresno. Oh, oh yeah, California. nice. California. It's a good shit town, brother. How's Fresno? Uh, yeah, yeah, shitty, man, in a good way. Like, you know, like those towns where where you don't have to dream, and people are like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, man, perfect That's place. Normal. Yeah, not no big expectations, you know. It, it kind of town when there's a new fast food restaurant, everyone gets excited, yeah. and they like line up. And, so you go to Canada to chase your dreams when you're in Fresno, you're like, I I'm gonna to go Canada. to Canada and live my I, dreams. I went to Canada because I owe money to oh, yeah. everyone. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But it's been enough time, so. <laughs> the statute of yeah, limitations. Yeah, 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 limit. I actually am a, a permanent resident now. Oh, I got, nice. Uh, I got, yeah. yeah, they oh, fucked up, sense. man. They fucked up. Yeah, I betrayed my country. <laughs> I want to be one of the greatest traitors of all time. Like, uh, Judas, Snowden, that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long line of traders. <laughs> I come from a long line of traders. Hell yeah. I'm sure you're going to want to work back down there for gigs and stuff eventually, though. How are you going to do that? Man, they take, good now. I got my, I, I got, I got two passports. Oh, you can be a permanent and, resident. And two stuff. SIM cards. Oh. I'm like a shitty okay. Jason Bourne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm broke in three different currencies. I have. <laughs> I know you took this yeah. cake and you didn't even ask. I didn't. I didn't, yeah, 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 no, I didn't want to. He's like, I'll take any I'll gig. I'll take it. I'll, like, wow, yeah, I'll take what I can get. Numbers. Numbers. This is great. I'll oh, take man. any gig. I'll talk for as long as I want. <laughs> 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 I don't care how much you pay me. I'm not shutting up. <laughs> He's like, if I talk long enough, they might throw money at no. me. Yeah. <laughs> if the people, like if the people asshole. who book him, I feel like a fucking asshole right yeah, now. Yeah, if the people who book him would know that they get an hour for like a five minute rate, like as a as a bad luck. <laughs> I'm a bad businessman. I'm giving you extra shit. Oh my god! Oh, you're great, man. Oh, man. Absolutely great. I, I can leave, man. <laughs> you're good. No, no. This... No, we like having you here. Okay, we man. wish we brought you out here earlier. Our regret is Eric, not you. Trust me. <laughs> you were not the waste of time. <laughs> Trust me. When people watch us online, they'll be like, "Who are they talking about?" Because we're gonna cut Eric out. I'm never. He'll be gone. <laughs> I know that. I'm not shaking Eric's hand, man. Because later on, he's gonna be jacking off, and I'm gonna be. Jagging <laughs> like, who's controlling this? <laughs> I, I like how he said, I didn't touch you. I didn't touch you. <laughs> he travels with a lawyer, man. I like yeah. that guy's style. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a magician during the Me Too movement. Yeah, you guys. Are I so didn't touch you. I didn't do it wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't touch you. you I didn't touch you. They also. I didn't you guys touch are you. skating on thin ice, brother. I tell you that. <laughs> if Amber Heard taught me anything, man, <laughs> it's your paperwork. I'd let her type. shit in my bed. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. What? <laughs> what? You would. What you owe to the? Wait, which part? They're like, oh, the shitting in the bed. I don't know. Yeah, they're for shit, it. They support man. it. They're like, no, yeah, we she, like she it. She gives a shit. I like a shitty booty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little present for you, like, hey, baby, wow, left something for you. That's <laughs> love, that. right? Appreciate <laughs> that. Appreciate it. <that. laughs> oh shit. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping out of this. All right, hey, I don't no, even know no. Because we can talk about the slap. I, look, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> no, you're good, man. This I, exactly. I've enjoyed it. I, I want to watch the rest of the show. Yeah. Absolutely. Actually, you know what? You sit. You, you can sit here with us. Yeah, we got. We have one more bit to do. We got one, uh, you are guys you guys have eight more minutes? Do you have eight more minutes? We we're past our time. We've been talking. We're past our time, but we do have a finale to the show. We got one more yeah. trick. One you guys trick. are down for it. If you got to go pee during the trick, it's fine. We won't blame you, but like, we're down to do it. Yeah, and you just stay right here. You're doing yeah, you good. Yeah, you stay here. I'm gonna tell. Uh, we got uh, also uh, people like do you have merch? No, but we have buttons. Uh, you just go over on that side, and there's a button. You throw yeah. a thing in the jar, take a button. After the show, we're gonna be here for uh, pictures and hangouts. Yeah, there'll be photos and stuff come up on stage like after that. the show. All uh, good. But right now, we're gonna finish a trick, and I'm gonna do it on this mic because right, I like go. this one. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna lead off with this one and. Um, uh, I, I'm gonna, but all we need to do for this one is I need, I need two couples, brave couples, gloriously brave couples. Right here. In the back, I got one right here. Okay, that yeah. yeah. Come up if you're a couple, and then in the back, I see. I want to get some of the back. I like how one on person out of the couple is, is raising their hands. They're yeah. like, everyone's like, put your fucking hand down. What are you and doing? And then this side is very excited. Go we got, home. we got four people coming. Okay, can I, can I get half of this couple? Because I need five people for this trick. I need half. I got four coming, so I need one more. So rock paper scissors, send me one of these. Send me this guy. All right, perfect. All right, line up right here, everybody. Everybody, just line up here uh, in an orderly fashion. Beautiful. Line it up, line it up, line it up. Nice big row of five people. Nice couple over here. Someone said hi, John. All right. 
Oh, perfect. All right, this is good. Okay, so couple, couple, in a couple, but 30 feet apart. Okay, good. Um, what's your name? Josh. Josh is probably going to be my go-to guy here. Uh, so we're going to try something. I need, um, I need everybody to take a marker. Here, grab a marker. Let's try and get rid of it. There we go. Fancy, 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 fancy. Okay. Josh, have you ever seen a very also fancy canvas for, from the dollar store? That's, yeah, that's where this show's at. We spare no expense at Bob, as you can clearly tell. Okay, everybody's got a canvas. Everyone's got a marker. We're gonna try something here, and I'm, I know you're gonna think that Chris is helping me. So Chris, I'm gonna blindfold you. The fuck? Yep. Well, blindfold me. We can't use the bag because this looks, we don't want to get rid of Chris's beautiful beard. Take those glasses off that literally, I can't see anything. there's nothing, there's no, he's just wearing these. He's just wearing these. He's a fraud. He's a fucking fraud. I saw fucking fraud. driving nuts. It's magic. Wes, <laughs> it's an illusion. Here. Blindfold I'm yourself. Idiot. Blindfold yourself. Do you know blindfold him? Okay, I just, I don't really care. I just don't want to look at Chris's eyes and I don't want you guys to think he's helping me on this trick. So you guys all have a canvas and a marker, okay? I'm gonna face this way. Chris is being blindfolded. So what's gonna happen is you guys are all gonna draw something. Now remember throughout this entire trick, this is all about body language, right? I like to close with this because it's not so much magic, it's more about reading people, okay? So it's about body language. It's about having a poker face, okay? So in a minute, you're gonna draw something, I'm gonna be facing this way, right? Josh, right? Josh is gonna collect them all eventually, and you're gonna give them to me, and I'm gonna figure out who drew what, but it's all about body language and poker face, so keep that in mind, okay? So you're gonna draw something, I'm gonna face this way, you guys are gonna draw something. What you're drawing, don't draw yet. You're all gonna draw the same thing. You're gonna draw a dick. Everybody's gonna draw a dick, okay? Everybody's gonna draw a dick, make it your own. It could be your own, it could be, a dick you, you, that you've seen, a dick of your dreams, a, a dick of your imaginations, but you're gonna draw a dick of some kind. It doesn't have to be yours. It could just be one you want, or one you saw, or one you thought of, or one you could imagine seeing one day. Draw a dick, don't let the audience see the dick you're drawing. Even, even from each other, just sort of draw your own unique dick. Add a, little, add a little flair to the dicks you're drawing. And take 10 more seconds, draw your dicks, cap your pens, and send all the dicks down to Josh. We want Josh to collect all the dicks after you've finished drawing. Just a quick sketch of a dick and send them all down to Josh. Josh will eventually have five dicks in his hand. Um, so Josh, can you uh, collect all the dicks? Yeah. <laughs> hey Josh, you want six? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so Josh, collect all the dicks from everybody. Everyone, fish drawing your dicks, add some Oh, Oh, Josh, mix the dicks, mix the dicks. Keep the dicks face down. Are all the dicks face down, Josh, okay? All, di all dicks are face down. You've mixed the dicks. I also, yes, I do want the five dicks in my hand as well. This is great. Okay, Josh has mixed the dicks. All right, now, again, before I start looking at these dicks, I want everyone to remember the poker face part. That's why I get you to draw dicks, because it is very hard when we're drawing something so stupid, okay? Getting, a, getting like a, what is it, like a, a dick pic is not good, but you can send a, a dick drawing. It's like a handwritten letter, if anything, gentlemanly, you know? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do these one at a time and try and find out who drew what dick. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm always scared to look at the person, but we'll go do it together. Hey, Wes, if I, yeah, hey, Wes, crazy. If I promise not to help, Oh, yeah, Chris, yeah, you can take the mask off now, because... Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is so you, stupid. Yeah, you, uh, you, 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 you couldn't help now. You haven't seen anything happen, and you, you, you don't know what's going on. That's fine. This is the first dick. This is quite the dick. I said draw a dick. I didn't say it had to be doing something, but you can tell this one's doing something. All right, I'm going to show you, everybody here, uh, do not react to the dick drawing. Do not react to the dick drawing posture. Nodding. A lot of nodding there. It's like, it's a good dick. What can I say? That's good. All right. You know, well, he wasn't nodding because he liked the drawing. He nodded because she drew this, I think. And then he's like, yeah, baby. <laughs> if you're going to do that for me in front of everybody, I'm going to give you this dick. Did I get this one right? Yeah. I did. Okay, you can go have a seat. You can, go, you can take your seat. I got I'm one for one with the dicks. Thank you very much. Round of applause. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. She, she threw it.
Yeah, because he was looking at it, he was like, he was like, yeah, nice. That was a cactus, man. <laughs> she drew a cactus that came everywhere. That was fucking wild. Let's look at another dick. Let's say, how about we look at this dick? <laughs> Holy sweet Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not even gonna turn around. I'm gonna say a man drew this one. <laughs> and we look now. Yeah, you've never seen this before. Not just the drawing, just in general. You're like, never seen that before. For sure. Yeah, you're annoyed because she's like, that ain't, that ain't, nope, that's not his dick. He almost needed a new page for this one, so. I'm gonna say, as somebody up here that didn't have anybody to co corroborate their dick, you can go have your seat, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait. He goes yours. So you get to keep it. You're a pervert. My I know that guy. He's a creep. He got away with it. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good. Wait, what side? What side of the dick are the balls on? I don't know, man. That looks like a dick you buy in the store. That ain't that ain't real dick. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I don't know what's happening anymore. All right. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you are not good at this poker face game we're playing. So she's laughing. He's not impressed the fact that she's laughing. And now we go back to the dick we just had. Now these dicks are actually more similar than we first started with. There's a, a slight discrepancy. We have a tall, slender sir. I don't know why you did this to yourself. <laughs> you could have done anything. <laughs> but congratulations on the length, my sir. Is, this, is that, did I get it right? Is that you? Thank you very much. You guys have a seat. Jesus. This is a great show. You're gonna be great. You have a seat. I'll sign it later. Yeah, no, you can sign it. I'll sign it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. No, take it with you. Take it with you. It's yours. He's yeah, putting he out that weird really dick want energy on you. He really doesn't want it. Yeah. <laughs> really so we're down to this last couple. We haven't looked at these yet. Um, all right. The, uh, how long have you guys been together? About a year and a half. All right. I'm only gonna look at one because <laughs> after that we know who's got what. I'm gonna look at this one. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Seems like an honest portrait at, the, at first sight. Seems like it was, maybe it was traced. You know? Seems like maybe it was traced. So, she being honest or is he being honest? I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna read their body language, and we're gonna find out. <laughs> 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 he did this to himself. You see that? Just <laughs> I didn't know, but I like it. And I appreciate the honesty. Did I, I you think draw he's this an one? artist. I like it. You draw this one, yeah? I support it. Did you trace this? Okay, because that is a real. I believe that dick. That's a real penis. Out of all these dicks, I believe that one. You, Josh, may take your seat. Big round of applause for Josh. All right, don't touch the other one. Don't touch the other one. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna touch the other one. Wh what's your name? Nilu. Nilu. Yeah. Nilu. We have not uh, touched that one yet. We haven't looked at that one yet. No one knows about this one yet. We're pretty excited for this one yet. That, that, Sorry. <laughs> that dick has not been touched yet. <laughs> but maybe later, right? Okay. Uh, Chris, when they were drawing these things, you, you were blindfolded. I was blindfolded. Okay, and we left that there. Um, you want to take a crack at this? Take a crack at what? It's her dick. Like, I mean, I already know. It's, <laughs> what, no, you want me to... what does it look like? Oh, you want me to draw it? I think you. I, I don't know. You were doing all can this I other guess, weird stuff. Can I guess? Can I draw it and like see if I can get it right? Okay. All right. Let's try this. Okay. If, <laughs> if I had a penis, what would my penis look like? Ah. All right. First of all, I'm not going to assume you have a penis. Uh, but she said, if, I know. I mean, I could just be shy. Okay, hold on. I think girth is a factor. I think there's girth to this. I, see, I say keep his in mind, too, you know what I'm saying? When you're doing I this, think, maybe they drew each other's. I think there's like, I, do. I think there's like girth in the middle, but not so much at the ends. And I, I feel like you would, 
have it ejaculate. I'm just saying, I feel like you would... This is what, I, this is what I'm getting. Poor Dino. Okay, hold your, hold your, the... <laughs> hold your dick up. Hold, your, hold yours up. Hold your penis. All right, on the count of three, we show it. This works. I'm going to be actually surprised. One, two, three. Hey! That's pretty good. Not bad. Let me just back up a little bit. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Thank you very much. Please take your dick and hey. take your seat. Thank you. Wonderful job. Pretty good. Uh, Figure that out. <laughs> Dino is so excited and awkward. He's got the most confused boner he's ever had in his life. Uh, yeah, nothing like ending a show on dicks. You know what I mean? We should, we can't we can't do any better than that. We can't do any better than that. And I appreciate uh, everyone with their honesty, except for the one dude. Uh, other than that, very yeah. honest drawings. And uh, what, what should we call that a bob? I just want to say, first of all, thank you to every one of you. I know it's been a longer night than you expected, but it's been a, a hell of a blast. Thank you to everybody that came out here, showed support for not only live comedy, but live magic. It's always so important. You guys rock. Guys, subscribe to Bottom of the Barrel. We appreciate it. And don't forget to tell three friends. Thanks for coming out. That is our time. Thank you so much. Follow Dino Archie. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go! Stupid drunk with a bottle in his hands. Hey. Along came a Woo! You guys can come up if you want to get pictures.